Today on the Piano Forum series, I'm going to discuss one of the most common problems that people will find with pianos, whether it's uprights or grand pianos, and that is buzzes and other unusual noises that can come from the pianos. Now, most often, buzzes are caused from very simple little things. I remember many years ago, I found a upright piano that had a buzz coming from a little piece of sawdust that was touching the string that was left in from the factory. That was many years ago, and I found stuff like that over the years on my Baldwin that I used to have. Uh, there were many different parts on it that would buzz, and I'll talk about that later. But it's very important when you hear a buzz on a piano, whether you're in your own home and it's your own personal piano, or you're out on location looking to buy a piano or just looking at pianos for fun, which I often do, it's very important to look to try to figure out where these buzzes might be coming from, because while they could be something as simple as a hinge or a small piece of wood that's this little trim piece that's coming off. It could be something much more structural, like a bridge pin that's coming unseated, or perhaps even a whole rib that is coming unglued from the soundboard. So today I'm going to be talking about some of the more common, uh, you know, buzzes and sounds that can come from pianos and different ways to help find them. One place that pianos can get cracks a lot of the time is in the soundboard. So when you're out looking at a piano or you have heard a, a new buzz in your own personal piano that you've never heard before, it's always a good idea to check out the soundboard. Now the best way to do this is if you have two people. One person can go underneath the piano and look upwards at the piano while someone else takes a flashlight. You could even use your cell phone flashlight, but honestly, the, the brighter the flashlight, the better. This one here is a red line blast flashlight, and as you can see, it's very bright. So what you'd want the person above the piano to do is to hold the flashlight, it's flicking a little bit, to, uh, to hold the flashlight above the piano like this, to, and put it really close to the piano so it's really bright and intense on a certain spot. And then just follow the natural seams in the soundboard. A soundboard is made of lots of different thin planks of wood that are all glued together. And that is often in those seams where cracks would occur. And if you look at the soundboard, you can see where those lines are. And so you just have the person hold the flashlight like this and follow those seams down the piano while you, or perhaps someone else, is underneath the piano looking for light that is shining through. And so you just go down like this and follow the soundboard and be looking for that. So that's how to look for soundboard cracks on a piano. Another place that pianos can have cracks, which can also produce sounds, is the bridges. Now there are two different bridges on the piano. You have the main bridge that runs all the way from up here, and that runs all the way down underneath the strings, way down to there. And then you have the bass bridge down here. I remember I was at a piano store one time, and I actually found a piano that one of the bridge pins on actually a few of the bridge pins on the bass bridge down here were kind of loose and that could have been causing a, a buzz. And uh, so when you're, when you're looking at a piano and looking for a buzz and you hear one, uh, it's all, often a good idea to come down here and check. Sometimes the bass bridge, which is this part down here that I've lit up, uh, can have sometimes cracks or usually I've seen the pins, they kind of get worn out and there's a little extra space and they can vibrate. And then also the main bridge, especially in the treble, way down here is where you often find uh, actual cracks in the bridge which can lead to other issues besides buzzes but also could potentially cause buzzes. A lot of the times Baldwins, um, older Baldwins will have cracks in the treble bridge up here and here. Now if you find a, a buzz in the bridge and you, you want to see if the bridge is causing the buzz, you can touch the bridge and apply pressure to it and see if the buzz goes away. Now on the bass side, and also as well as with the regular strings, it's not a good idea to touch the speaking part of the string here on the bass strings, that would be the copper side, but you can touch the non-speaking side, the part that doesn't make any sound, with your, uh, with your hand. Or you could take a cloth and cover your hand and apply pressure to the whole, uh, the whole area there in a general, general area. If you hear a buzz and you think that it might be coming from underneath the piano, such as here under the soundboard by the ribs, you can just take your hand and apply pressure. I'm going to do it to this one so you can see it. And just apply pressure and gently push upwards on the rib in different spots. And that's off screen, but I'm over here on the other side of the support pushing up. And you can try different ribs and see if the buzz might potentially go away if you think that it's coming from under the piano. 
One place that a piano can have a buzz is actually on the lid prop stick. I've had experience with this on my old Baldwin, uh, something that I hear a buzz. And if the lid was down, I'd reach inside and I'd, I'd kind of lift it up and move it around a little bit because on this piano, there's a little rubber nub here that keeps the, uh, the lid prop isolated from the harp and vibrations. But on my other piano, I don't remember if it had one or if it had fallen off over the years, but sometimes that would cause an issue. And also sometimes the smaller lid prop can cause an issue as well. When the lid was up on my piano and the stick was up like this, sometimes I'd hear a buzz and so I'd come over here and I'd just lift it up off the, uh, the other stick like that, which would look a little funny, but it would uh, prevent buzzes. This uh, one here, it's very, it's not stiff, but there's a lot more tension in the small lid prop stick and so it's not causing any buzzes. Now I'm going to talk about some other minor parts of the piano that can cause buzzes and that I have experienced in the past. Back when I had my Baldwin from 1977, one of the most consistent buzzes that would repeatedly come back was this large hinge here. And I've seen that on other pianos as well, where this large hinge would cause issues. On my Baldwin, what I'd do if I was playing and I'd hear a noise, I'd just reach up here and I'd just punch it with my, with my fist. And usually, not, not like punching it, but just with like the palm of my hand, I'd just bop, pop it and usually that would go away. Sometimes it didn't. And then what I'd do is I'd go around to the other side of the piano and lift up this section of the lid and just kind of lift it back and forth a little bit and then put it down. And usually that would also make it go away. And uh, But this, this hinge is a critical part of the piano that can cause buzzes, but fortunately it's not like a, a major uh, issue if it buzzes, it's just a mere annoyance. On my Baldwin, it was designed a bit different from the Steinway, so I can't really show you how it worked. But there was a, a rounded piece of wood here, uh, right back here, that ran the, down the whole length of the piano. And I, uh, the glue on this end, I think, they glued it in, and it started to, to come apart with age. And it was ever so slightly loose down here. You could kind of like tap it, and it would make like a snare drum noise. It was really weird. And uh, one day, it kind of it came loose and started buzzing. I, it was driving me mad because it sounded like metal. And so I was going around looking on all the metal components of the piano, trying to find it. And then one day I reach inside the piano and I just put my hand there and it goes away. I was like, what? It's this piece of wood that was right here. So if you have a Baldwin from that era and you're having a funny noise, you might want to check that little spot or look on your other piano and see if uh, you have a different brand of piano that has that same design. Um, hinges in general can be an issue. I just talked about the main lid hinge, um, but if you have a buzz in the piano, just check all your hinges on Steinways. You have this hinge here. I haven't had an issue with it, but maybe other people might. Um, I did have a hin uh, issue just the other day with the hinge for the actual lid itself, the one that allows the lid to raise up and down. The middle uh, hinge pin was starting to come out a little bit, but maybe like a quarter to a half an inch. And so we just hammered it back in place, and the buzz that I was having an issue with seems to go away, and it hasn't come back for about a day now. So that seems to have fixed the issue. So, moral of the story, if your piano has a buzz, definitely check all the hinges that you can find on the piano because oftentimes those will be a common source of the buzz.